Hey everyone, okay, so in this HTML and CSS3 tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys about fixed headers. Now, fixed headers are used on lots of websites out there. If you look at Twitter or Facebook, you'll see uh, the header at the top doesn't move. So if you check out my uh, Twitter profile page or any Twitter profile page, and you scroll down through the tweets, you'll see that the header always stays where it is. Now, this is a really cool tool to use. It's really useful um, for websites just like Twitter and Facebook, and uh, for if you want a fixed menu bar at the top of your website. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to create a new folder. Um, you can call the folder whatever we want, well, whatever you want, we're gonna call it website. Uh, just drag it into the center of the desktop. And now, if you see we can open it, there's nothing in the folder, um, and we're gonna create our first notepad document. So go ahead and open up notepad or any text editor. Um, start with obviously the default tag, so HTML, head, title, any title you want. Um, this has a fixed header. Close the title, and we're going to link it to the CSS again. So link uh, rel equals style sheet, uh, href equals style.css. But remember, it can be anything.css that you want. Um, close the head and open the body. Oh, not doing a very good job of opening the body. There we go, body. Uh, close the body and uh, close the HTML. And we're going to just go ahead and save this. Um, and we're going to save this obviously into the desktop and into our website folder. So find the folder. There we go, website. And save this as, you can save it as anything you want, .html. So we're going to save it as index.html, but you can save it as blah.html or mysite.html. But we're going to just do index.html for simplicity. Save. If we go into the folder now, um, you'll see, there we go, we've got our index page, our index document. We're gonna create a new notepad document now. So open up a new notepad document, and this is gonna be the CSS, so body. We're gonna just do some styling. Um, background color, we're gonna make it a light gray, so CCC, CCC. Font family, uh, Arial, if that fails, sans serif. Um, and then, uh, that's pretty much it for the body, actually. We're now gonna create the header, so the custom header, so dot header. Um, and then the we're going to make it 100% width. We're going to make the margin zero and auto, so there's no margin. Um, we're going to make the height 40 pixels. Uh, we can have a background color on this one. Background color is going to be a darker gray, so 666, 666. Anything you want, uh, again, for this. Uh, text line, we're going to make it in the center. Um, and this is the important bit. Position is fixed. We want to make sure that's added. So that's the most important bit. So that's file, save as, save it into the same folder, remember, and we can save it as style.css, because remember that's what we linked it to in the HTML. So style.css, go ahead and save that. If we go into the folder, you can see the style document is now in the same location. Now it's time to go back to the HTML and add in the div header. So div class equals header. Uh, and then anything you want in the header. So this would be where your menu bar goes. So this is the header. We can close the div press file, save, and now if we go ahead and open up the uh, HTML document, you can see there's now a header uh, running the entire length and uh, the entire length of uh, the website. I'm going to just make this a bit smaller. Um, now there's a bit of there's a bit of a margin still. Um, we can quickly fix that by going to the body tags in the CSS. So margin again is zero and auto. Um, press file, save. If we refresh it here, as you can see, it's all shifted into the top. There is no spacing now. Uh, we want to make the header look a bit nicer, though. So we're going to maybe add a bit of padding, change the color. So uh, if we go into the header tag, uh, we can do color. So we'll make the font white, so that'll make it stand out nicely. Um, and then we want to add maybe padding at the top of 10 pixels. Press File, Save. We're going to refresh it. And there you go. It's looking nicer already. Um, we can maybe make it a make the height 30 to sort of balance it out so the text is in the center. Um, there we go, and maybe make the font a bit bigger and, and stand out a bit more. So we'll make the font size 18, I think. Uh, 18 pixels we'll go for, and then uh, font weight, we'll make it bold. Again, file, save, press refresh to see your progress. And as you can see, it's changed, it's updated. Now it is time um, to add, obviously, content um, we can see that that's obviously fixed, that's a fixed header, but, but to sort of display it and show that it's a fixed header and it's not going to move anywhere, we're going to add some content. So we go back to the CSS, and we want to create a new tag, so we want to call it content. Uh, we can make this width maybe uh, 300 pixels to start with. Um, yeah, 300 pixels will make it. 
uh, we're obviously going to do the height. We're going to do the height quite quite a large height, so 800 pixel to display obviously the, the scrolling. Background color, we're going to make this. Uh, we're going to make it a dark blue, so 003388, um, and then close that. File, save, obviously add it into the HTML again, so we need to create a new div here, so underneath the header, so div class equals content. This is the content, and then close the div. File, save, press refresh, and as you can see, there is now content. Um, but we're going to push, push this into the center, so content, we're going to, actually we're going to make it wider first, we're going to make it 500 pixels, and we're going to make it margin zero and auto, so we push it into the center. Uh, again, text align we're going to do as well, so text align, um, center, file, save, press refresh, and you can see it's gone into the center. Um, now you'll see if we scroll, the header is always staying where it is. So no matter how much you scroll, the, the content will obviously change, but the header is always going to stay at the top, which is just how it's done in Twitter and Facebook. But you'll see that obviously we couldn't see uh, where where we wrote this is um, the content. So what we're going to do, we're going to add some um, margins to it. So we're going to add 40 pixels of margin at the top and the bottom. File, save, um, press refresh, and actually it's shifted everything down. So instead of adding a margin, we want to add padding. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to reverse what we've just done. Um, so we're going to do zero and auto again. But we're going to do padding. Uh, padding top equals 50 pixels. So file, save, press refresh, and you can see the text is now visible because it was behind the header, but it's now there. So that's pretty much it. That's how to do a fixed header. We're going to make the, the, the text stand out a bit more, so we're going to do white uh, content. So file, save, refresh, and there you go. So no matter how much we scroll, if I just uh, make the browser a bit smaller, no matter how much we scroll, everything um, in the main content obviously scrolls, but the header stays exactly where it is. And that's how to make a fixed header using HTML and CSS3. Hope you guys enjoyed the video tutorial. Don't forget to rate, comment, favorite, and of course, subscribe. Bye for now.